In this lesson, we are going to take a look at how we can add multiple insertion points to a dynamic block in AutoCAD. Here I've got a little classroom with several different chairs, and I want to place this desk in each corner. When I select the desk, I can see that it's a block, and it has the top midpoint as the insertion point. So when the block is created, you have to decide what is a good insertion point, and it's sometimes impossible to figure out what is going to be the best insertion point. In this example, I want this desk in the other four corners of the room. In order to do that, typically I'll end up just inserting this block off to the side and then using the move command to move them into the appropriate corners. Instead, we are going to modify this and add multiple insertion points to it. If you would like to try this exercise with me, the link for the file is in the comments. I'm going to begin by double clicking on the block to get into the block editor. I'll click OK to enter the editor here. And I want to make sure that my block authoring palettes is showing. If it's not showing, the button right up top here in the ribbon will control whether or not it is turned on. I also want to make sure that I'm on the parameters tab right now. You can see on the parameters tab, there is a base point option. This is not the option to add multiple base points. This is to replace the existing base point. So if I no longer wanted the top middle to be base point, I can choose the base point tool and place it somewhere else. However, you're only allowed to place one base point. So the tool that we're looking for is actually going to be the point tool. I'll start with the point tool and I'll pick the upper right corner of the table here, then click to place the label. The parameter has an exclamation point on it, which typically means that we haven't added an action to it yet. But in this case, we do not need to add an action, so we can move on. As I insert this block, I want to be able to cycle through clockwise around the different points. So I will continue adding points around the corners clockwise around this table. Then finally, I will close and save my block. Now we will not notice any difference to this block out here. It's not going to show multiple grips for the insertion points, but we will notice it when we insert the block. So I'll come up top to my insert tool and select the desk. As you can see, it's on its original base point. I can tap the control key and it will cycle through the different base points for me. So here I can go ahead and place the copy there. If I want to go ahead and place another copy, I can press control until I get to the right corner and continue to do so. As you can see, this workflow is going to be faster than just simply placing copies out in space and then moving them back where we want them. To summarize, we can edit our block, use the point tool to add in additional insertion points. Then while inserting the block, simply tap the control key to cycle through the different insertion points. That concludes this look at creating multiple insertion points in a dynamic block in AutoCAD.